Uh, hello folks, good day, and welcome again to my blog. So we're going outside right now, uh, just to check the surroundings, so just give us a moment. I'm going, we're going to step out and check on the, uh, you know, the deck area of the ship. Right, so we're just gonna go outside and take a walk and see how uh, things are doing. I haven't done anything uh, about a video going outside, but I think uh, since our chief mate here is not a Filipino and a Russian, things are pretty much lax and probably I could uh, take a video. Okay, we've reached now the upper deck, now moving outside. So this is our upper deck area, as you can see I've already uh, covered this one in our video from last time. So we're, uh, yeah, we're going outside. So this is the fire control room, which I've already uh, made a, uh, a journal or a vlog a few days back. And this is our changing room, as you can see. So uh, our changing room is pretty much neat and clean compared to other uh, changing rooms on board the ship. I mean on other ships. So this is my locker room as you can see it has a name on it. So let's go outside. So as you can see a tanker vessel usually has two doors. The main hatch and the door. Now the reason behind this is that they want to keep the gases out. So uh, this one acts as a buffer. So let's get outside. Oh my, I wasn't expecting that it was raining. So yeah, I guess I'll be back later on. Um, this is totally unexpected. Okay, uh, I'll just have to cut the video and wait for a few hours and be back here. So stay tuned. Again, now this time the weather is pretty good. So we have a fire plan, and as you can see, a fire hose box. This is our entrance. This is used for the air, this is used for the water, this is used for the fire hydrant. Now, this is our lifeboat. So, and this is the, our work area. Although, due to instrumental safety regulations, I cannot go any this uh, part. Well, I can zoom in my camera. So that's our pilot gangway. Uh, we've already put a canvas on our ladder. That is our um, cargo crane. We have two those, by the way. We got a port and starboard one, left and right. And that is, of course, our winches. That is here. Is our PD valve. So I'm not gonna go any near uh, that area. So we're gonna go down on our sunken deck. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna take the stairs here. So this is much our sunken deck. As you can see, we got a lot of room here because, well, this is a VLCC ship after all. And we got another fire hose box along with the uh, fire So we got our chemical uh, here. Uh, we got a chemical. Well, that's our chemical shower. And this is, uh, well, used for the engine room. They usually do the bunker in here. This is the bunker in connection. Urea, sewage, sludge, uh, TV oil. I'm not exactly sure because I'm not the engine guy. I'm a deck guy. And it's flooded with uh, rainwater. 
So this is our poop deck. So as you can see, it's very roomy, very spacious. And we got a bollard bits here. Now this door leads to our steering gear. Uh, steering gear room, <coughs> sorry. Now this switch box is for in case we want to switch on our witches. I'm not exactly sure about this one. So as you can see, this is our winch. Oh, uh, by the way, we do also have two, uh, what do you call this, provision cranes. This one is the port side provision crane and this one is our starboard provision crane. So yeah, so in case of a mooring, uh, we're, in case we're mooring, this is the tool we use. We use the hook for the wires we, that is used on our winches. Uh, by the way, this is my mooring station aft. So in case the ships want to go to berth, uh, this is the area where I'm going to, uh, well, station that. So as you can see, our winches here are quite a bit different. Now we still do have uh, this, uh, what do you call this, uh, this device in case we want to loosen up. Well, it's usual, this is usually called the brakes for our winches. However, uh, here on this ship, it's only used as a secondary option, not the primary, uh, primary option in case we want to um, open or uh, well, release the brakes. As you can see, our brakes here, the winches are operated by the hydraulic. So you gotta put a stick here uh, and say pump, pump, pump. So this is the switch to which uh, the, high, the brakes are opening. It's by a hydraulic. This is for the closing of the brakes and this one is for the releasing of the brakes. So there. Um, this is for the vent outside. So here we also have the, the fire hydrant and three uh, air, air pipes that we use in case of uh, maintenance. So now this device that is put on canvas is our basically our ETA emergency towing appliance. Uh, basically it's just only used for emergencies so in case of a fire. So there, so as you can see we got a pretty high chimney, not surprised because like I said it is a VLCC ship, so this one is our chemical shower and also our eye wash. So yeah, this is our poop deck, so it's pretty much, uh, as you can see, pretty much wide and spacious. So we're now on the other side of uh, the, our sunken deck. We got a pigeon here. Look at here. Well, the pigeon doesn't mind that I'm here. So this is our entrance to our sunken deck, which uh, leads directly to the uh, laundry room. But I'm not gonna go through that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that is our lifeboat. So in case of emergency, we uh, try to board that. So this is the port side of our working area. So as you can see, well, I'm not gonna go anywhere near that. So I work in an oil tanker. By the way, this is our uh, emergency life wraps. So in case our lifeboat doesn't work, uh, that's the one to be used. And here is our entrance but I'm not uh, going to go near that. Oh, 
this is our uh, ship's entrance to the hospital. I mean, hospital entrance to the ship or... Well, it's basically a ship clinic. And this is our fire control plan, which in case of a fire, we're gonna give this one to the uh, shore-based uh, firefighters. It's just basically a bunch of papers, if you ask me. And, uh, well, this is our receptacle for a microphone, in case you wanna talk. Um, this is our deck store, which, uh, well, basically it's our chemical room, but uh, it's currently locked. Uh, and uh, that's the welding pump and our, uh, you know, the hose we use to pump out water in case uh, there's a flooding in the pump room. So yeah. Okay, so we're gonna move uh, inward. So this is our uh, Swiss uh, cabin. So, just give me a moment here, we're gonna open this one. Uh, okay, right, right, right. So this is where we put our guests, specifically in the Suez Canal, if we're going to, if this ship is going to be transiting. But, uh, it's not determined if VLCCs can really fit on the Suez because Suez nowadays is a bit uh, a bit on the narrower side if you ask me so yeah uh, yeah see it's more like a dorm type but we don't use that uh, you know uh, on a regular crew basis we just use it only for a temporary in case so uh, uh, you know, just in case in this west area. So, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go outside. moment here it's a bit windy so this is the entrance to the engine room and this is our CO2 cabinet emergency generator room and this is our emergency generator as you can see we even have a fire host here and microphones so I think I'll be going out on that area because uh, the engine crew might see me alright ok and this is our paint store So as you can see, this is where we hold and store our paints. Uh, for knowledge information, our paints we use is Jotu. So yeah, and we got our, our paint brushes here. Of course, we're not doing much painting right now, nor even maintenance. So we just leave this one be. And if you notice, our paint room here is quite small compared to uh, the typical paint rooms you see in VLCC. It's about, usually typically uh, VLCC paint rooms are two, three times more or more spacious than this one. Oh, by the way, in case of emergency, in case our paint room is on fire, we just simply just, uh, you know, release this one. Oh wait, it's an isolation for paint store. Okay, well, uh, yeah. And this is also our purifier room, exhaust, ventilation, dampers. So we want to close it, this one, but I think the damp... Oh yeah, it's just hidden. So yeah. Now if we want to switch on the uh, lamp for our paint room, as you can see. 
so it's a switch box here, basically just a switch to open the, uh, the lights there and the ventilation. So this is the entrance for our dry provision room. So in case of provisioning, as you can see, we just use the crane over here, our starboard side crane, and then the crane just uh, lifts it and then puts it here, just directly right in front of our pro dry provision crane. Now here is basically for the fitter. It's the oxygen and acetylene, which he used for uh, probably welding. And we also have two large fire extinguishers here, six kilograms with a uh, box. We numbered it number 37 and 38. And this is also one of our, uh, well, industrial size, uh, you know, industrial size uh, garbage bin. So it's quite large. And this is our garbage room. So uh, right now, garbage isn't segregated, so I'm just uh, going to take a peek here. Hopefully the engine crew won't notice me. And this one is our incinerator room. Yes, that blue box over there. So, okay, I think I should be going now back to my uh, accommodation area before somebody sees me roaming around. Okay, well that's quite a bit of tour. And we also have the life rafts. So as you can see, the two white uh, cylindrical objects there are life rafts. We also have the Wilden pump here, which we use for oil spills. Yes, that one in the canvas right over there. That is our Wilden pump. But for now, uh, we're at sea, so we just put the canvas away for protection of the equipment. Okay, uh, I'm going now back to my cabin. So I guess that ends our tour for our deck area. Can't go any further because of the uh, strictly uh, safety uh, regulations. So, yeah. So it's a RIP deck. So this is our B deck, which basically all of our uh, crews are uh, well resting. Now, this is our laundry area for uh, B deck for the crew. We wash our normal clothes here. This is our provision crane up close. Well, at least on the uh, starboard side provision crane. So there's just the other one. Oh, I didn't know we do have an air hose here standing by. And it's just been left out there for days.
So, uh, here we go. This is just the thing I could do for now because, uh, you know, just go sleep here. You could just move the camera. So, this is our winches for our uh, starboard side. And that's also our winches there over on the far side. We also have a helicopter uh, landing area. The one that's usually marked on the uh, green circle over there. And we do have our cargo pipes here. So we just only have three cargo pipes. Well, actually our cargo pipes are right beneath the deck area. Uh, this is just one of the maintenance pipes. Uh, okay, uh, first pretty much is explained here. And that is of course our manifold area, that is for our starboard side. And this one is port side, so that's how we discharge cargo, we usually load up hoses there, uh, loading both, loading and discharging. Of course I've already told you our uh, gangway, we have both port side and starboard side. Uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much about it. So there. I guess that ends our tour, so I'm going back now to my cabin.